Hi friends, it's time for Angel Choir. I'm so excited to see you again today. As you can see, we're back at my house. We're not at the Converse anymore. Um, and I think I've got some fun stuff planned for you today. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend, we're gonna kind of go back and forth between reviewing some of the stuff we've learned and singing some of the songs that we do in children's chapel some of the time, okay? So I think this is gonna be a good time, but first, we need to stretch, right? So everybody, stretch up big and tall. I know you've been sitting down a lot in front of screens, right? Stretch big and tall and spread your wings and come back down, go all the way down to the ground and roll up your shoulders, right? And hug a ball and do the Titanic, and hug a ball, and do the Titanic. Give me a big lion face, go ah, little mouse face, big lion face, ah, little mouse face. Let's breathe in, two, three, four, hiss, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in, two, three, four, hiss, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In, two, three, four. Hiss, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In, two, three, four. Hiss, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And one more for good measure. In, two, three, four. Hiss, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can make it eleven, twelve. Oh, good work. Okay, you can get your candle. Candle. We're going to breathe in for four, and then I want you to blow out all your air over four counts. Ready? In, two, three, four. Four and three. In, two, three, four. Four and two. In, two, three, four. Four and one, you're going to have to blow really hard. In, two, three, four. Good work. Oh, okay. So let's warm up so we can get this party started. Here we go. Do some baby owls. after me. May be my mommy. May go to Miami. And maybe my mommy may not. It's good. Use good diction. Maybe my mommy may go to Miami and maybe my mommy may not. Okay, you ready? Maybe my mommy may go to Miami and maybe my mommy may not. Maybe my mommy may go to Miami and maybe Senora more often and you'll learn a new more exciting version. So let's do our Bella Senora, right? Remember what does Bella Senora mean in the language Italian? Bella means pretty, right? And what's a signora? A lady, right? So pretty lady? Bella Senora. Connected nicely. Bella Stuff like that in a minute. 
But let's get started with one of our children's chapel songs, okay? This is one of my favorite. Repeat after me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Good. So it's Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the new, or Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Jesus when the sun goes down. And then with every verse, I tell you something to say instead of Jesus. So between the verses, you're going to have to listen really hard. Okay? Here we go. position you would be in if you were playing tennis? How about if you were throwing a football? How about if you were playing soccer? Can you play soccer? Head the ball. Woo! I'm not very good at heading the ball. Um, how about if you were playing, if you were riding a horse? But I'm don't fall off. I've ridden a horse twice, and I've fallen off a horse twice. How about if you were playing a guitar? Near and near, 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 near. How about if you were playing a guitar on your horse? Oh, there's a new exciting one. Yeah. How about if you were playing the saxophone? How about if you were playing the drums? Right. How about if you were playing the flute? How about if you were playing the cello? Ha ha! You would sit down. Right? How about if you were sitting on a floor or a chair in your best number twos? Sitting ready to sing, right? How about number ones? Number twos, number three, standing up ready to sing, right? Number two, sitting, number one, number two, number threes. Okay, check out your number threes. Feet, arms, pockets, smile. Stay in your number threes, and we're going to sing this next one 
in our number threes. This is one of the slower, prettier ones we do sometimes in Children's Chapel. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. It's this is my commandment. Okay? So repeat after me. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. Good. Okay. That's all of the words. There's three verses. And for each verse, kind of like the last one, we kept replacing Jesus with a different word. For this one, we're going to replace the word love with a different word. Okay? So this is my commandment that you, that your joy may be full. Okay? So best number threes, because this is a nice, pretty song. Ready? things, right? The first thing we learned was something we called articulations, right? How the notes are connected or not connected. What was this one? Legato, right? And we also learned staccato. And then we started to learn dynamics. Dynamics is a big word for how, how fancy, uh, not how fancy, how loud and soft things are, right? And in order from quietest to loudest, we've got pianissimo. Repeat after me. Piano. Mezzo piano. Mezzo forte. Forte. And fortissimo, right? And then we learned 
changing dynamic. So if it starts loud and gets quiet, we have a decrescendo. If it starts quiet and gets loud, we have a crescendo, right? And then we learn some instructions. If we want to hold a note longer, where did it go? Hold a note longer than the other ones around it, we put a fermata over it. If we want to get slower, we do a ritardando. If we want to go faster, a cello rondo. Ritardando and a cello rondo, right? So we're going to mix all these up and do a quick round of This Is My Voice. It's been a while, hasn't it? Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, ready? This is my crescendo voice! Oops, upside down. This is my legato voice. This is my staccato voice. This is my fermata voice. This is my decrescendo voice. This is my acella rondo voice. Get faster. This is my retardando. That one's fun. This is my pianissimo voice. This is my piano voice. This is my mezzo piano voice. This is my mezzo forte voice. This is my forte voice. And this is my forte. Tissimo voice! Ah! Good work! You're going to use every one of those in some of the music you sing in the future, right? Okay, let's sing another song. We're going to do a song now that features the Accelerando. Okay, repeat after me. Love God with your heart and your neighbor as yourself. Love God with your heart and your neighbor as yourself. Okay, it's all the words. So we're going to sing a verse three times, and each time we're going to cello rondo. Okay, so we got to start out a little bit slower so we can get faster, right? Here we go. right because when you get up into junior choir you'll have a hymnal with you every Sunday that you sing in church and you'll have to use it okay so what we're gonna do I'm gonna pick up the video so it's gonna look a little bit weird we're gonna come over here 
And we're going to look, where did I put it? At one of the hymns that a lot of you know. Okay. I'm going to be behind it, and you're going to look here. So, can anybody read the words here at the beginning? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Right? So this is the hymn, Amazing Grace. A lot of you know it. And notice some of the things that we've talked about. Every hymn has a number. And they're all in order so we can find it, right? And then over here, it says what the hymn is for. This one says the Christian life. Other places it might say Easter or Advent or something like that, right? And all the hymns have words and notes. And the words are in verses. So how many verses does this one have? One, two, three, four, five. It has five verses. So when you're singing verse one, we come along the front one. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that, skip to the next line and find the first one, saves a wretch like me. I once was lost, but, skip to the first one, now am found was blind but now I see and then you do the same thing with verse 2 and verse 3 and 4 and 5 right and that's the way the words work the notes over here are on five little lines we call a staff can you say staff mm -hmm. and on it the little ovals are called notes and we know what the notes are on the staff because of this curly Q thing right here. It's called a treble clef. Can you say treble clef? Mm -hmm. And y'all all are kids and you have fairly high voices, so you still sing the part using the treble clef. But some of you boys, when you get older, your voices will be low and you'll sing using a bass clef, right? And so we sing these notes. Look at the notes on the top. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. As the notes go up, amazing. As they go higher on the staff, our voices go higher. As they go lower on the staff, our voices go lower, right? And did anybody notice the exciting thing in the middle of this one that we just talked about? See, when we get there. What happens when we get to the word me? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. What's over the word me? Or over the notes over the word me? Right, it's a fermata. So, that saved a wretch, get ready to hold it, like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. And so remember, we talked about this here. That's the way that hymns work. Okay. Now we're going to put this guy back up. Hi. We're going to sing another song. Oh, boy. What should we sing next? Let's see. Let's do another one that's a little bit on the slow side that we like to do. This is one, another one of my favorites for children's chapel. It's called He is Good. Okay. He is good, he is good, his love endures forever. Can you say that with me? He is good, he is good, his love endures forever. Listen. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. 
Say that with me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. That's all the words. He is good. He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. We sing that twice for each verse, and we'll sing the verse a couple of times, okay? we've been working on is the chorister's prayer, right? So let's see if we can remember it. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, us thy servants who minister in thy temple. Grant that what we sing with our lips, we may believe in our hearts, and what we believe in our hearts, we may show forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then sometimes the leader will say, Go now in peace to love this go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. And you will say, Thanks be to God. Okay, we've got one more song we want to do though. And you're gonna have to bear with me because I've got to move the camera and it's gonna look kind of weird. Um, but it's my very favorite children's chapel song, and we don't get to do it very often. But I bet it's yours too. Okay. So we're going to take the camera. We're going to move it over here. So I've got some room to move around. We're going to make it a little bit taller. And Miss V is going to come around. And we're going to do your favorite and mine, Father Abraham. Okay. Make sure you got a lot of room to move around. Stand up, get your wrinkles out. Here we go. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. And I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. And I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, head up, head down. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, head up, 
head down. Turn around, Father Abraham. Had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, head up, head down, turn around, sit down. Oh, I'm awake now. Hope you are too. So that's our angel choir rehearsal for today. And I've got something to tell you, which is that I'm afraid this is the last angel choir video that we're going to be doing this semester. But it's for a really exciting reason. In June, we're going to be having Vacation Bible School online. And so I need to stop doing these videos so that we can get ready to do the Vacation Bible School videos, right? You're going to meet a lot of really cool people at Vacation Bible School. Miss Allison has a whole bunch of really cool ideas. You're going to be doing some art and some music and some Bible stories and all kinds of fun stuff. And I might just see you there. So that would be great. So let's sing Go Now in Peace. And then after Vacation Bible School, next fall, those of you that are going to be in the second grade get to move up to junior choir with Mrs. Frick. Super cool. And those of you that are kindergartners will get to stay with me. But next year, you will be the old kids. And you're going to have to help me teach the new kids, all of the stuff we've learned this year. Do you think you can help me with that? Thanks. I need all the help I can get. Okay, let's sing Go Now in Peace. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. See you at Vacation Bible School.